Do you struggle to understand what is inside your Ziwei Daoshu birth chart? Then you might want to stick around for today's video showcase as I'm sharing how to read a Ziwei Daoshu chart with an example and some inside secrets. Hi, my name is Gagan Sirkaria and I am a soulful life and high achievement book, branding and business coach. I'm certified, trained, and experienced in Ziwei Daoshu astrology, which is based on Chinese astrology destiny science techniques. And before we get started, don't forget to stay connected. I personally invite you to be a part of my soulful community and never miss these wisdom videos. So let's get started and take a look at a Ziwei Daoshu chart. All right, so what you're looking at here is um, one of the reports that my clients get. People who go through the life map reading journey with me, they get this uh, beautifully designed, in-depth report as to what Zibe Daoshu is, how is it personal to you, what kind of charts. So I insert your charts in this report. I educate you. Um, how you can use this information for your benefit and where are the strengths and weaknesses? Where are your destiny palaces? What are your decade cycles? You get all of that information in this report. Sometimes it's, it's around 16 to 18 pages. Sometimes it really goes beyond 20 pages. So you can always go back and use this as a journal to kind of document your journey, 90 day journey with me and kind of uh, walk through the process. I give you details about what the stars look like, uh, how can you utilize it. So now I'm going to show you a demo chart and kind of walk you through what can you understand from your reading if you chose to walk the journey with me. Okay, so right here as you're looking at my desktop, I'm going to move a few things here. Okay, so you have uh, in front of you, you're looking at a demo chart and um, in the center. So I want to give you kind of an understanding what a chart looks like, the basic structure of a Ziwei Daoshu chart. Now, uh, I went to Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur to the Ziwei Feng Shui Academy and got certified as a Ziwei Daoshu master. So I do Ziwei Daoshu readings, I do coaching, consulting, branding, helping you write your book, pretty much building a business around it based upon your Ziwei Daoshu chart. And I also use Chimen. So this is what a Ziwei Daoshu chart looks like. So you have uh, all these 12 boxes around in a square format. And these boxes are basically palaces. Um, or sectors. Some schools call it sectors. Now there's another thing that you need to understand. Ziwei Daoshu um, modality in itself has two major schools. One is the Sihua school, one is Sanhe school. I learned from both masters who practice uh, Sihua and uh, Sanhe. So I kind of blend the two looking at the results that will help you create the breakthroughs that you need. But this particular style uh, that I'm, I use more is the Sihua called the Flying Star uh, Astrology or the Purple Star astro Astrology. So you will see these kind of arrows on the chart or um, there are four enhancers. So sometimes it's called the four enhancer style, sometimes it's called flying stars. So there is different language or interpretation um, used or acronyms used, but this is what a chart usually looks like. So it has these palaces around it. In the very center box, you will have the client name. And of course, uh, I have to keep uh, personal information private. So that's why I've blocked all of the information that is personal to a client, but I'm giving you a generic uh, information of what a chart would look like. Now this is an actual real client, you just don't know who the person is. Very few, uh, some information I have revealed here, like their gender and a couple of other things, and I'll walk you through what that means. Uh, in the center, when you plot the chart, 
uh, where it says client name, of course, their name goes in. And then the solar right here section is basically their solar date of birth. Now, Zibe Daoshu chart is based upon lunar calendar. So in the center, I will see their solar uh, birth chart information, but around uh, the chart, like the 12 palaces, they have the information based upon lunar calendar, okay? So this client uh, right here, or I'll see their date of birth. Now the time of birth, according to the Zibe Daoshu, is not the exact uh, time that gets on the chart. It's a two hour window. And there's a reason behind it, okay? And that's more in-depth analysis that I go over as to what that means. Then the lunar is, the, is how it translates into the lunar calendar date of birth. Then, of course, gender. Uh, this chart is of a female. And the yin is the element. It's the yin energy that they have. And then some females have yang energy and vice versa. So female gender, yin energy. It could be female gender, yang energy. And for some males, it could be male gender and yang energy, which is, of course, the right thing. But then there is no right or wrong. But then it could be the reversal. It could be a male gender with yin energy. Now, it has nothing to do with somebody's sexual orientation or personal choices. This is how the chart or the software kind of interp interprets uh, the fact that uh, based upon their time of birth, date of birth, how these palaces are going to be plotted, okay? Uh, nothing beyond that, but it's a critical information, so that's how the calculations are done. Then the zodiac is the 12 animal zodiac uh, signs based upon the year of birth, and then of course the element is the water element, which is again attached to the um, year and then the age now the age box will tell me the lunar age not the solar age the lunar age of the client and the reason i am showing this is because i want to show you how the chart will move from one palace to the other now uh, the two here represents and tells me um, the life palace age at which it's going to start it is not two for everybody okay so it's different so right here if you look at it the very first palace right here is called the self palace uh, then parents then mental then property mental is also called karma palace or fortune or happiness palace property then career you have friends that comes next travel health wealth children, spouse, siblings, and then that's the last one, right? Now you can say that, oh my gosh, uh, this person's chart starts at age two and then it ends in, in age 121. What does that really mean? Well, it means that in the past, like 500, 6,000, 2,000 years ago, we were supposed to live longer and not, you know, we were supposed to live longer and take care of our bodies, right? But at the same time, having good health and having the stresses of our life and the lifestyle that we lead today in this 21st century is very different than somebody living, you know, 500, 600 uh, BC or AD, right? Um, the times are different, the stresses are different, the lifestyles are different. So what it really means is that we have the potential to live healthy lives but then what the stars and the palaces and how they interact will also tell you what kind of health challenges we, we can encounter. So this person, uh, their life energy or the life palace or the self palace is between 2 to 11, age 2 to 11, right here. And then it goes to parents. But now here's the thing. If this was female with the yang energy, so instead of going from self to parents, it would have gone from self to siblings. It would have been anti-clockwise. Right now it's clockwise direction, then it could have been an anti-clockwise. So depending upon the, the timing, the, the birth date and the year, uh, all of this kind of helps you plot the chart and understand what are the decade cycles for this particular client 
and in this case this client is a female with the yin energy so she's going her cycles or her palaces or the decade palaces are moving in a clockwise direction make sense now the next thing I want to show you here is um, this highlighted age 42 to 51 what does that mean well I'll give you a little bit of a, uh, insight here this particular person is currently in her career decade cycle and her age is between the age of 42 to 51 that's what it really means and then if you look at it 2014 15 16 these are the actual years that we have going on and right now we are in 2019 and uh, this person uh, probably is in their wealth kind of overlapped we don't know what that is but I'm going to show you what that means when it comes to the decade cycles uh, but this is this is what the chart looks like and then let me walk you through a couple of other things uh, each palace has these major stars okay so we have the name of the palaces we have the age which is the lunar age we have the annual years we have these ages so 43 that's the actual age 44 so this person in 2019 is 47 years old okay so you get both lunar aspect you get the solar aspect and you have to interpret uh, what do these palaces mean how do they interact what does the four enhancers do what are the birth year enhancers what are the flying stars enhancers what are self enhancers there are 144 palatial dynamics that you have to calculate and there are over 1000 possible charts so in no way that you can memorize all 100 and well 1080 i think uh, charts and kind of figure out that okay if this chart shows up then i'm going to re give this reading if this chart there is no possible way to do it but if you learn and understand how the dynamic and the interactions work, what's the formula behind it, and what does that interpretation mean, then you can do a really good forecasting. So uh, a lot of astrology work uh, also includes um, intuitive work. And I think intuition is very powerful in, in gathering the information from the chart and assessing it, analyzing it. Uh, the beauty about my journey, the program that I take my clients through is I don't forecast unless I create a baseline of the past events. I'm, I've not been with my client, so I don't know what their past has been. So my very first step is to actually um, look at the chart and analyze some past events, whether it is from their current decade cycle previous decade cycle or all the way to their childhood I want to create an accuracy of their past events so I'll ask some validation questions and then the client is the only person who can tell me yay or nay yes Gagan that happened no that didn't happen but something similar happened so there is a dialogue between my client and and I so that we can create an understanding of where uh, the timeline is and I'll tell you one thing if I am 60 to 80 percent accurate in my past um, assessment to see where you've been that helps me create a beautiful foundation to assess your current situation where you are today and how can I help you recreate your destiny if the results are something that you don't like that's the beautiful journey that I am so amazed that my clients and I can walk together based upon the charts so let's move forward I'm going to show you something else um, as to what these charts look like and what do they mean the next thing that I want to show you is on a chart there are four corners right these four corners are also called the growth palaces or the horse palaces what what it means is like now everybody's Z way Dao Shu chart has 12 palaces period right now those 12 palaces four of them are going to end up on the corners that's how you need to look at it 
those four corners are the horse palaces or the growth palaces so whichever palace ends up in the corners that's where this person has the most challenges or they grow the most or things don't come easy <laughs> so so for this person um, the four palaces that are in the corner are the mental palace the friends palace the wealth palace and of course the siblings palace now you can look at challenges as opportunities to grow, uh, areas where you have to dig your heels down and you have to dig deep and you have to work hard to create results. Or you can just give up and say, holy cow, this is not something that I wanted. But well, it's fated. You can't change your chart, right? These are the four palaces that are there. So if you, if you, uh, embrace the journey and you understand where this is going to go then you understand that okay this is my growth phase this is my opportunity and I have to work hard if I want uh, better results in here now that's just a surface level aspect now what does uh, each of these stars mean uh, what do uh, Hua Chuan mean what does Hua K mean uh, Hua Lu mean? What does Hua Zi mean? The four enhancers and then the self enhancing part, then the fly out part. That's the in depth analysis that I take my clients with me and kind of help them understand. So let's move on and I'll show you more charts. So the concept then there is another concept of the inner and outer palaces. Um, in, in a layman term, I can tell you and you probably know this, that there are certain things that are out of your control and certain things that you can control. So on the same concept, there are these inner and outer palaces, one, five, nine, six, and 10. Those are the numbers of the palaces. What does that mean? Well, number one is your self palace, then wealth, then career, one, five, nine, that's the number, and then six and 10, six is health and 10 is property. Now, even though in this particular chart, the timeline or the progression of the decade cycles is clockwise, but the actual chart, the actual calculations, uh, the formulas are run anti-clockwise. So 159 is one self, wealth, career, and then health and property. But these are the uh, palaces where you have control over these palaces so you can do more about it you can control it you can blossom with it um, anything outside these you have no control over you have no control over your siblings you have no control over your spouse you have no control over your children you have no control over travel you have no control over your friends your karma and your parents make sense so having an understanding of how these palaces interact with each other which one is going to clash which one and when and what is it that you can do to uh, keep the clash manageable is what this 90-day journey is about okay so let's move on and watch some uh, more of these charts now this one now has the decade cycle being overlaid on the actual birth chart and this is where the dynamic happens uh, the decade palace is kind of in between sandwiched between the natal and the annual chart so it's in between so there is this natal birth life chart then comes the decade and then comes the annual and then comes the monthly so they kind of move with time and you have to kind of interact and play with them as they are moving and interacting with each other so it's a complex study, but it's a fascinating study and I love it. So this is what a, a decade chart for this person looks like. Now, let me show you something else. Now, this is what the flying stars do. Now, in this one, the decade spouse is Hua Lu to self, Hua Chen to travel, Hua Ke to spouse, and then Hua Zi to mental. Now, they all mean something, okay? And it's very powerful. So I'll give you an analysis. One of the things for this is decade spouse, hua ke, original spouse. This is what it means right here. What it means that in this decade cycle, this person's 
spouse will increase their fame, will increase their intellectual capacity, will grow uh, more wiser, uh, will have success or fame, um, or will, will grow in a way that um, they will have more resources. So it's not this person, but this person's spouse. Now, who is a spouse? It could be a husband, significant other, somebody that you live with as a, a partner. Now, it's not that a spouse by definition means that somebody that you're legally married to. It could be anybody, somebody who you have an intimate relationship with, uh, somebody that you live with, uh, a partner that you committed to. That's what a spouse means uh, in Chinese metaphysics, okay? Uh, moving on, I'm going to show you a few more things right here. Uh, this is again, we're looking at the decade palace and how uh, the decade cycles uh, of this person. And then we are doing the flying star study uh, to just give you some examples as to what does this mean. Like a chart that you plot online free will not tell you what this really means. So for example, in this particular uh, chart that you're looking at, um, decade mental, which is right here, in 2017, Karma Palace or Decade uh, Mental Palace was, was the theme of this female, okay? 2017, that's what was going on. The karma was kicking in, okay? And karma from there, the Mental Palace, Hualu to Mental, Decade Mental, Hualu to Mental, Decade Mental, Huaka to Siblings, Huatzi to children clash property, and then Huachen uh, hua to wealth. So what does that really mean? Well, in a nutshell, I'll tell you, and this is one of my current clients who's been with me for a very long time, and uh, so she, she keeps coming back, okay? She does a lot of things, and I have her permission to kind of do this um, in this manner, to showcase um, as an example. So this person, had a conflict in the family in 2017, like breaking family or separation or um, structural damage in the house, you know, in 2017. And then Hualu uh, to mental uh, has another meaning. So not all of the red lines mean bad or negative and not uh, all of the green lines, the Hualu means all good stuff, you know? So the interpretation is different, a different interaction of the stars. And then it's not only the fly out, it's not only um, the star is also an impact, you know? What does Juman mean? Uh, Juman is a star of, um, it, it has double meaning in the sense that uh, it's a powerful star for, for people who do speaking or people who use voice or auditorial skills to uh, make money um, or people who um, dabble into metaphysical studies. Uh, Jubin actually helps you um, do energy work. Um, it's a very powerful but has a dual aspect. So it, if you channel the right side of it, it's, it will help you do the metaphysical studies and, uh, and speaking engagements and stuff. But if you go into the negative side of it, it's a very dark star too. So it depends upon where the star lands, what kind of self um, enhancers you have attached to that star, and what birth your enhancers you have means very different thing for different people. And, um, you know, to do these interpretations, you have to be with the client, making sure that you are um, sharing information and piecing it together for them from a timeline perspective. Because if the past makes sense to a client and the present is what they know, then what the forecasting of the future is will definitely make sense to them and they can maneuver better in that aspect. So um, 
the another one I want to show you is right here. This is the actual sibling palace, Hualu to property, uh, Huake to health, Huazi to wealth clash mental, and then of course Huachen to children. So this one, uh, of course, Ziwei Daoshu is Ziwei is the name of the emperor star. That's the the first star, and um, it's right now in the Yin palace which is right here you can see yin right here in this corner uh, it also means that this person um, can be a lonely person or this person um, their siblings actually want to be treated like uh, kings and queens you know if they have a brother like like an emperor or a ruler and have if she has a sister then like king like princess or <laughs> the queen um, they want to be treated really well but they may not treat this person, the client, equally. So their demands are high. Their expectations are really high uh, to be treated like kings and queens, but don't give the same treatment to this client. You know, that's what the sibling is. Sibling palace also talks about uh, mother. Uh, parents palace talks about father more. So that interaction, you know, that understanding, uh, what does that mean? So one of the very common questions I ask my clients is, are your parents alive? Because that then helps me go into the past a little bit more. Um, so that's where it is. And then here is another one. Oh, this is interesting. So the spouse palace, what's he self? So for this client, the spouse causes stress to this person. It's fated. There's nothing she can do about it, but she can manage it. She can maneuver through it once she has the awareness and she has, you know, so that brilliant breakthroughs that she's had through the uh, life map reading journey with me has really helped her blossom. So um, the spouse also helps her career. So which means that after marriage or after this relationship, um, the career flourishes. Make sense? So this, this is uh, an interesting concept to understand, you know, what happens. The spouse uh, can treat mother really well. Do you see how spouse, huaka, two siblings? It could be they either treat or uh, they can treat the siblings well or mother well, you know, this client's mom. Um, very interesting chart all right so i can go on and on with this but i wanted to share some of the charts and uh, what they mean and how can you really create your blueprint of success during zwei daoshu readings creating your blueprint of success through destiny science is what i do to soulfully guide you in building your life and business I hope you enjoyed today's video showcase. Don't forget to sprinkle this video and blog with your tribe. Until next time, sending blessings and brilliance your way. This is your high achievement business coach, Gagan Sarkaria, signing off.